Lau, uh, from Slalel, Louisiana. Um, my journey to Islam was, um, in my, I guess, the way I see it, special because of uh, nobody ain't, I ain't have you no know, brothers to tell me about Islam and then like that. I searched it for myself. I had a uh, time when I was uh, trying to have a, a connection of my own with God. And, uh, so I started um, searching all religions and studying all religions from Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, Voodoo, all types of stuff, African spirituality, everything to try to have my one-on-one -on -one connection with uh, God. Then I started studying Islam, and from then on, it been from there it been awesome actually. This masjid is a um, and Sladel is small but big in spirit. You know, it's just special when you come in here. Like I, sometimes it's so special, I come in here by myself and just like to sit and just just ponder on that everything that went down through the week or you know it, it, stuff like that. It just it's a special mosque. Um, the Imam, he been just very, I guess, important in my life. And then uh, for me, especially, I like to talk to older, uh, older people and stuff like that, get the wisdom from them. And um, yeah, but far as my journey, it, it, I think it's very simple. You know, just searching all religions, trying to find a one-on-one -on -one relationship with uh, God. And I found it in Islam, and it impacted my life a whole lot. Um, I, I got was a married. To to get that out. I was married when I was uh, uh, before I uh, got to Islam, and uh, once I became a Muslim, I got divorced because uh, my ex-wife. She just it was hard for her to accept. She's a big Christian. She real deep into that, and um, it was hard in the beginning. But the more and more I started praying, the more and more I started <laughs> focusing on God. That's it. Nobody else, and it just become more and more easy. Um, the Mad has been a big help with that. All the brothers and sisters around here, uh, that's why I say it's small, but it's very big as far as in spirit. Like the brothers that help you with in anything, anything. So uh, that's my journey, I believe. Um, it's very simple. Um, nothing not special. I'm just like you, just like everybody else, you know. We all brothers and sisters together. Islam, I mean, and then I uh, kept me out of trouble, a whole lot of trouble. You know, um, at a time I had, uh, I was, you know, I could say, with the cool kids trying to be cool or whatever in the neighborhoods, trying to cause problems with people and stuff like that. Then they had, uh, I had a last incident uh, in uh, 2020. Uh, we like to call it, me and my friends, having one foot in and one foot out. Had one foot in Islam and one foot with the cool kids trying to run the neighborhoods and do that stuff like that. I had a real, real uh, life experience that was almost causing somebody to their life and me also. And then that's when I, I sat in the house for like three, four days. I probably only ate two meals out that time. And I was just like, just pondering on what I need to do to be, become a better person. And it, Allah gave it to me that I mean, have to just focus on him. Nobody else. He's going to make it happen for me. That's my journey to this one. Okay, and what do you think uh, American people or people inside of should know about this community? Uh, or what do you think that people should know about Islam generally? Uh, uh, for the first question uh, for this community is um, uh, nothing to do with race. We all look at each other as brothers and sisters. And I had a problem in the beginning, not trying to ask for help because I'm shy. And, and then, I mean, they basically like welcome me. They ask, oh, ask for help, ask for help. It's just like the love I'm getting from, you know, and it's genuine. It's genuine love from the brothers and sisters in this man's chair. And that's why I mean, if I need help, I ask just like it's second nature, you know, just because the love and the, um, I can say comfortability, if that's a word, they got me comfortable to, you know, it's okay. You know, everybody need help. And so that helped me. But for us Islam, um, I like to tell people about Islam Simple, uh, we believe in the same God you believe in. As far as Christianity, Jew, Jew, Judaism, and all that, we believe in the same God they do. We, uh, but we only worship just one God. We don't worship other gods. We don't put anything equal to him. You know, uh, we believe in Jesus. We can't be no Muslim if we don't believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that's very important. I believe people don't understand that. We really, really, really love Jesus. 
You know, we don't make no distinction between no prophets, no messenger. We love them all, and we have to follow them all. You know, um, what else? Um, and, yeah, I mean, all Muslims don't blow up people or they don't hate other races or nothing like that. They're Muslims. They believe in God, the same God everybody else believes in. So that's my, yeah, my concept of it and stuff I, I tell somebody about Islam. Thank you.